In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a image made in ggplot fully editable in PowerPoint. So this is really useful if you've got an, you're making an image and you want to use it in a presentation and you want to change some colors or relabel things, make labels a bit clearer for your audience. To do this, we're going to need to use two packages and the critical one for this is the SVG Lite package, which is an, enables us to save our ggplot image as a .svg file and then of course we're going to use ggplot to create the image so once you've installed these packages um, you need to pull ggplot out of your library you won't need to pull out svg light so you don't need to activate this so what we're going to do is just get ggplot out of our library and we're going to set a working directory so this is just where we're going to save our plot at the end. I'm just going to put it in one of my drives to make my life easier. So we set our working directory. And then I'm just going to create a data frame for an example. I'm going to call this df. Um, and it's going to have two variables in it, concern and background. And if we have a look at this, what this data looks like, we can have a look here. So this is basically people's concern about doing statistics based upon their background and zero is they've got no statistical background whatsoever one is they have some experience with statistics so it's just students and their concerns over statistics higher concern scores mean more concern so we can just label that quickly as well so we just label zeros no experience one is experience and i'm going to create um, a plot using ggplot um, in this case, I'm going to do a box plot because I really like box plots. Um, so this is going to be concern on the y-axis and x-axis is going to be background. I've just set some colors and I've put a title on it and a caption and I've clearly labeled my axes. The critical thing is as well, I'm saving this. I'm going to call it my plot. You can call it anything you like though, of course. So if we run that, I've got this plot and let's have a look at it. So this is the box plot I've made. So we've got people with no statistic experience, people with experience, we've got our two plots, we've got an outlier there, and we've got our label axis, and we can see we've even given it a little caption as well. And then simply, we use the gg save command, and I'm just gonna save this as example.svg. So that's what we're saving as, and the thing we're saving is what I've just made, which is called my plot. So I can just run that, and it just tells us this is the image we're saving. So now I've come to do my PowerPoint. I want to show my results. So what I want to do is insert. I want to insert a picture on my device, and it's going to be my appallingly organized M drive. And there we go. We've got example SVG. So I've put that in now. This has come in and it's just an image at the moment. It's just an image like any other image. But what we can do is we can click convert to shape. Now you can see we've got little dots all over this now. If I just zoom in a little bit, I can show you a little bit clearer. So now everything is an editable line. We can change anything we like we can if we do that box we can fill that shape for example i can make that ye a yellow color I can make it green purple and so on so i can change the colors of things i can say i didn't want that i can get rid of that all together i can change concern scores i could say concern scores Oh, so 20, for example. Um, so everything now, so I could even ch change the colors, change the outlines and colors of these and so on. You wouldn't, of course, go around editing these things, though, because then you're just misrepresenting your data. But it does allow you to do some nice format changes, because you may have a plot and you may think, oh, it's not very clear. So you may think, right, you know what i'm going to make these bigger for example or you could change colors on things to highlight them or you can even animate things 
so one thing you could do is if you select all areas of this just got to make sure I get everything animations and I could say that's going to fly in so I could fly in different aspects of things as well so you can animate you you could animate your graphs as well so there's all sorts of things that you could do so that's how you can create an editable graph don't abuse it and change your graph to misrepresent your data but it does allow you to be able to edit some things to make your presentations a little bit clearer than when you've made something directly in ggplot as ever the code for this can be found below the video